Welcome to episode 4 of the 2006 Mastercraft X2 build. In this episode, we are going to install the pumps and the custom fat sack bags that we had made. Uh, the rear locker bags we made, we designed to tuck underneath the rear seat a little bit as well. Those are 880 pounds each. The front plug and play bag is 300 pounds. Again, we're filling that um, through the KGB tank. We left the KGB tank in in the center of the boat. Really the only way to get that out is to split the hull and uh, too much of a project for us to tackle on this one and really no reason. Uh, we're gonna get to it. All right, we're getting into this ballast system, replacing the pumps and stuff like that. Um, there's a box on the port side of the boat under the back seat. And uh, all the research I did said that uh, I'd have to timers and I'd have to pull them out and rewire them. What I actually have in this boat, this is a 2006, is relays. So there's a relay for on, a relay for off for all three pumps. And um, so uh, we have some bad relays because they're turning on, but not, or they're going, they're pumping, but they're not uh, draining. So I purchased the relays. I'll put a link in the video so you guys can find them if you have the same issue. I uh, did a bunch of testing with the multi-tester. Everything seems fine. So I think we just have some bad relays. We're going to go ahead and swap out the relays next and uh, make sure everything works good before we put the uh, plumb the bags up and get those back in here. All right, first bag in. We replaced the vent fitting with a 90 degree elbow. It seems to fit a little bit better than the straight one that was there. Uh, we hooked up uh, a 90 on the fill side as well. And we got the bag in. We filled it up with the air the other day, make sure it fit good. It's like a glove, so we're good to go. One down, two more to go. All right, back at this 2006 Mastercraft X2 build. Today we are going to swap out the pumps. It, uh, current pumps that it has are the reversible ballast uh, puppy pumps, green impeller pumps that you guys are probably used to. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and swap in the ballast king pumps. Uh, the ballast puppy pumps pump about 88 pounds per minute. These are about 125 pounds a minute. So it'll just fill up our bags a little bit quicker, make the turnaround time a little bit less. Uh, if you do consider doing this in your boat, keep in mind that you are going to probably have to swap out the fuses and maybe the wiring as well. You just want to make sure you check all the voltage and the size of the wires um, and make sure everything's you know can handle it without overheating the wiring or anything. If you saw in our earlier video when we were looking at the relays and swapping out the relays and making sure those all worked, there was 20 amp fuses. There was three 20 amp fuses, one for each pump. We're going to swap those out to 30 amp fuses, uh, which is the recommended size for the Ballast Kings. And that should solve everything we need to do here. So we're gonna get to stripping some wires and putting these pumps in. All right, guys, we're getting towards the end of this project here. On the ballast side, what we have left is to hook up the bow plug and play. So we're gonna pull off a vent hose, uh, swap out the fittings, and we're gonna uh, get that plumbed up so that the overflow from the KGB tank that was factory flows into the bow bag that we had made for this boat and then uh, vents out you know, where it did before. Uh, one thing to note here is when you're doing the vent on this bag is to make sure to run it um, up the bow as high as possible so that it'll fill up all the way and it won't drain when you're when you're going kind of like a p-trap and a sink you can loop up um, the hose in the bow and uh, that way there'll be air there to stop it from draining uh, when you're going so we designed this bag to have the vent at the highest point of the bag here up in the bow to ensure that you know it stays full 
after that, we're going to tackle uh, installing this Fusion uh, stereo. Right now, it's got the factory stereo that didn't have Bluetooth and stuff, as we talked about in videos before. They also have a sweet wireless remote you can basically stick anywhere. Since we're pulling the radio, we're going to swap it. We're going to put this remote where the factory uh, remote location was by the driver. But you can also get another one and put it on the swim deck uh, or really anywhere else you want. Uh, thanks for following along. I'll put a link in the video uh, so that you can purchase these bags off our website and, and get all the gear you need to do this on your own boat if you're interested. We left some extra slack there just so you don't have to like, you know, try really hard to get that thing on and off. It's nice to be able to pull out the bag a little bit and unhook it, you know, in the winter here in Minnesota. Stuff freezes, so we like to pull these out and drain them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and run the hose for the drain or the overflow on this bow bag. Again, we're gonna loop the hose up here. So we're just gonna kind of create a loop like this up in the bow before we go back to the through hull. That way, there'll always be a little air there so that the bag, you know, if I was to run the hose along here and right through the through hull, it's, when you're at a pitch, it could potentially drain. We wanna make sure that bag stays full as possible. All right, guys, that wraps up the ballast. Uh, upgrade. So here we have a bow bag that's hooked up plug and play to the existing KGB system. And back here we have two 880 pound bags that sneak under the seats right here a little bit um, to max out the ballast. We replaced the pumps, upgraded the fuses here. If you have a 2007 and newer X2, you're going to have um, timers to deal with in there. I'll include a link to a guy that can reprogram those for you. You can also pull them out and, and uh, put in relays. This one has relays. So right now these switches just are on and off and you just turn them off when it's full um, or turn them off when it's empty. These ballast gauges for the rears aren't gonna work. We unplugged those and got rid of those. Obviously you can't do that with bags. You can't have them work. So otherwise, it's a pretty good project. Uh, the boat will now have, before it had 750 pounds of ballast, now it's going to have about 2,700 pounds of ballast, so a significant upgrade here, and it should produce a huge wave. We're going to put the interior back in, upgrade the stereo, and then we'll get this thing on the water and show you guys what it's like. Follow along, subscribe. Check it out, and uh, it was a great project. Soon we'll be getting this thing on the water once the ice thaws out here in Minnesota.